Hey everyone, it is late at night and I am Norman. If you have a spring bar and you don't know what size it is, it seems like it would be straightforward just to measure it. However, it really isn't. And recently I had to do just that. I had to figure out how to measure it. So in this video, I will explain why and I'll show you what I did. So let us begin. So here is my little watch maintenance box. And inside it, I have spring bar tools, screwdrivers, other tools for sizing bracelets, some extra buckles, stuff like that. And this handy spring bar box. It's divided up into different sizes, so I know exactly what I'm taking out of it. As of a couple days ago, this was also full of a ton of baggies full of spring bars. Most of those were labeled, however one of them apparently was mislabeled. Others didn't even have their sizes marked on them. So I had to determine what size those were. Also, there was a problem in this case itself. As you can see in the 19 millimeter slot, one spring bar is in there that is obviously longer. So, let's take that out of there. Here we have the extra long spring bar. And the trouble is I can't simply measure its length because these pins here retract inside the spring bar so the final width is not what I would be measuring here. Also, this center bar apparently can be of different lengths as well. So I was thinking, okay, when you put a spring bar onto a watch, you have to be able to shove these pins in just enough to fit between the lugs. So I got out my handy calipers and I decided I would simulate that. So I open them up. And I placed the spring bar right there and held it there. And then I simply closed them as far as those pins would go. And there we go, 23 millimeters. If I look on here, that is the third slot in from the right. So let's place this in there. And as you can see, that is the correct size. We can also confirm this technique with a known length. These are 18 millimeters. So I will place this right here and close it as far as it'll go. Pop that out. Sure enough, 18 millimeters. So if you have a spring bar and you don't know what size it is and you have a pair of calipers, you can use this technique to determine exactly what size that spring bar actually is. So there you have it. That is how I personally measure spring bars if I don't know what size they are. Thanks for watching.